Welcome to the LSE Methodology Institute's Data Tutorial Series, sponsored by the LSE Annual Fund. In this video, we will show you how to use do files. Stata is mainly a command line based package, so what you can do is take a series of commands, put them into a file, save the file, and then have Stata go line by line executing these commands. These files are called do files, and one way to run them is to type in do on your command line and then the name of your do file. Let's say it's called do file. Do files have the extension .do or .ado. Alternatively, we can open up a do file editor by clicking on this icon that looks like an open folder, looking for files that have .do or .ado. So for this example, we've created a file called tutorial.do, which has the commands from the tutorial on analyzing ordinal data. So we click on that, and what we see is a series of stata commands. So now we have two choices. First, we can click on this button here that says execute, which goes through line by line and executes all of the lines in the do file. Alternatively, if we just wanted to run a selection, one or more lines, but not all of the lines from the do file, we can highlight one or more lines, like so, and then go back to the same button and then click. But instead of running the whole of the do file, it only runs what you've highlighted. In this case, if we just wanted to create the frequency table for the variable energy, instead of running that and creating the bar graph, which is in the, these three lines, what we do is we highlight just that first line, tabulate energy, go back to that button, and click on it. So if we go back to the main display, what we see is that we've created the frequency table without running the whole of the do file and also creating that bar graph. So there you have it. We've given you a quick introduction to do files, and we've opened up a do file and, and run it to create a frequency table. Uh, one last thing to add, for creating a do file you can use any standard text editor, so that's Notepad in PC or TextEdit in Mac. So that's all for now, goodbye!